In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete some homework on Dr. Frost. So when you log in, you'll be on your main dashboard and your homework is found in this gold My Homework section. You'll be able to see the most recent tasks that your teacher has set you. There'll always be three tasks appearing here. If you need to be able to see tasks from an earlier due date, you can just click review all and then you'll be able to see all the tasks your teacher has set you across this course of the year. An X means that you haven't completed the homework yet. Maybe you've done some of the questions, but not all of them, or you haven't started the task yet. So there's two different kinds of homework that your teacher may set you on Dr. Frost. This first one here is called Expanding Brackets Worksheet. And this is a task where all the students in my class are gonna get the same questions on their homework. The other kind of task that you may get is a flexible practice. And this will be the case that you and your classmates are gonna get different questions um, from each other on the same kind of topic. Now with a flexible homework, it may be the case that you or your um, classmate answer more or less questions from one another, depending on how you're getting on with the skills asked of you. So let's look at this first one here where all the students in my class are gonna get the same questions. We just click on the task and then we can press start attempt. Now up pop some videos and I can skip these videos if I feel like I want to start the questions first. It may be the case that your teacher has requested that you watch the video before you start the homework, in which case there'll be a red icon here asking you to watch the video and you'll need to watch the whole of the video. And once the video comes to an end, the start button, which would have been greyed out, will become blue and you'll be able to click on it and start your homework. Let's press start now. So up come my questions and I need to click into the answer box and then I can either use the pop up um, keypad here or I can just use the keypad on my device to type in my answer. Once I submit my answer, I find out if it's correct or not, and then I can move on to the next question by clicking next question. You can also see you can continue later if you need to. Now, when I see that question two, perhaps I think that looks a little bit tricky and I might like to see what other questions are available to me. So you can do this when it's a fixed worksheet because everybody's gonna get exactly these questions. So you, can, you don't have to answer them in the order that they appear. So actually, I think I'm going to answer question three next because I feel confident with it. And I can submit my answer. Now, of course, it's going to take me back to question two. Maybe I find this one um, a bit difficult, so I'm not quite sure. So I can now go up to the watched worked example. That's the little video icon there. So if I need to watch the video at this stage, I can. Hit play, watch these two examples, and that will be directly relating to the kind of skill that you're practicing at this stage. And you should be able to get lots of help out of watching that video. Once you're done, you just need to press the X up at the top right, and then you'll need to tap one more time to turn um, the screen into white. So now I can click into here and I've got a good, a good idea that I'm meant to be doing 25Y squared. Um, but let's imagine that I still get it wrong at this stage and I submit my answer. Now, it may be the case that your teacher has set it so that you get this option just to rethink your answer just in case it's a typo. So there's a little wink saying I might want to review my answer. So I X out of it. Um, let's, for the sake of this example, still get it wrong. Um, maybe I'll just say YZ and I can submit my answer. Now, in this case, I get it wrong and I'm told that my teachers allowed me to reattempt this task. So actually, it's not going to tell me what the correct answer should be. That obviously makes sense because everybody else in my class is getting this question as well. So I'll show you how we can go back to that question and reattempt it and be um, fully successful with our homework. Mm -hmm. For now, let's click on to next question and it will take me on to question four. The final thing to show you that you can do on Dr. Frost is up on the top right hand side, you've got a pen icon. And if you click on that pen icon, up will pop a little side whiteboard. And you may wish to record some working uh, for you and your teacher to see. Uh, this is just me using my mouse and I'm just doing some working on the side. That's optional. Um, your teacher may request that you need to provide working with your answers. So let's add in the right answer here. And now we've submitted. 
Okay, so I'm told uh, I've my mastery um, has stayed the same. I've earned 10 practice points, and then I've got some recommendations for some skills that um, I maybe need to practice. The main headline is I've got three out of four, and I want to go back and get four out of four for this homework. So I can either press review answers right now, which you probably will do, but for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to press exit, which will take me back to the dashboard. And now I can see there's that homework. It's, I've got a tick because I have answered every question, but we know I've only got 75% because of that question too. So let's go back into the homework. I just need to click on it. And then it gives me this option to re-attempt the task. So question two, I wrote the wrong answer. Let's quickly re-attempt the task. Now, the good thing is when it's a fixed um, worksheet and everybody's got the same question, you don't have to do all four of those questions again. Dr. Frost will take you straight to the question that you got wrong and you can just submit your correct answer. Okay, it's correct. And now I can see that I've got four out of four. I'll just show you what happens if I did press review answers instead at the end of the homework, then it would take me straight to all of my answers there. Now at this stage, you can see I've got these options to write comments to my teacher. So I could say something, maybe I want to write a comment here and I could say, um, I did watch a video and we attempted. Maybe that's helpful to tell my teacher. Okay. Now I said there was another type of homework which was flexible practice. So let's click on this homework You'll see that lots of this now feels similar. Start the attempt, maybe have to watch a video. But the main difference now is that because this is flexible practice, I don't know how many questions I'm going to need to answer until I can be sure that I've been successful. So you just get the question one appearing and it's your job to just start writing in your answers. I get it correct. Again, I get my um, solution. Let's just quickly do a few more of these. I'll get this one right and then I'll get the next one wrong just to show you what will happen next. So let's get this wrong. So let's pull out just let's pull out the P. So we say 14 uh, plus 7P. OK, there's the wink so I can think about it again. But like I said, I want to get this wrong. Now, the great thing when you're doing flexible practice, if you get it wrong, um, you'll always be told what the right answer is. And that's because you and your classmates are going to get different numbers next time you try this kind of question. So you can make a note of that and that will be really helpful for you as you try the next question. So now I think, oh, yes, I was meant to pull out the uh, numerical factor and uh, the variable. So let's just do get it correct this time. Still don't know when my worksheet's going to finish. Maybe it's going to be now. 4x1 plus 4x. Okay. Okay, so now I've finished my homework. Your teacher will set um, the accuracy that you're going to need to demonstrate in order for the homework to be finished. So in this case, I only needed to answer five questions in total um, and actually it was just that I needed to get two out of three questions correct on each type of those questions. Um, so I didn't have to answer too many questions there for my homework to end. Okay, so I'm going to press exit and again now I can go back into my homework and I can review that if I want to. Um, let me just click on review all. If I press review all, I mentioned that would show you all your homeworks. Now, I don't have that many homeworks here, but you can imagine there might be um, sort of 20 homeworks by the time that you're halfway through the school year. And you can look at any of these um, particular uh, homeworks and try them again. Now, something to point out, just going back into that flexible practice on factorising, when I click on that, if I do want to reattempt the task, just be mindful that in this case, it's not just going to take you to the questions that you got wrong. It's flexible practice, and it means if you reattempt it, you'll do all the questions again. Okay, the final thing that I'd like to show you is um, your notifications on the top right hand side. 
And in particular, I want to show you that you can see if you've got a piece of feedback from your teacher. So here it says you have one piece of unread feedback about a completed piece of work. So I can click on that notification and it will take me to the piece of feedback. Um, well, I can see my feedback that I've written and then I can also see feedback from my teacher. So this is from different tasks, um, but here's a piece of feedback that I haven't responded to yet. Mrs. McDonough has says, you have considered P and Q to be the same term. So very quickly, if your teacher's writing you feedback, you can click on that notification and then you can um, tap write a new comment and then you can start writing a dialogue to your teacher. Okay, so that is how to complete assigned work on Dr. Frost. I hope that video has been helpful um, for you to understand how to get going.